Hutan Kota Trenggalek, or commonly known as Huko, is a part of Jazz Mountain area in Trenggalek City. And Huko can easily be reached by Regalas City Town Square because the distance is only 1.3 km. Huko has cool air and wonderful view, like mountain elsewhere, although it's located in the center of the city. The visitors also can watch the sunrise and the sunset from the Huko. And also they can view the wonderful uh, Trenggalek architecture from the Huko. In Huko area, there are also some plants and animals that can be used to increase the education for children. There are many facilities that Huko provide for visitors, such as outbound and gazebo, uh, audience hall, and etc. For entering the Huko area, it is free. You just have to pay for the parking. This has a wonderful view, and Jazz is managed as creative as possible to offer more for visitors. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the facilities in Hutan Kota Trenggalek. What are they? The first is parking area. 
The sparky area is located near the entrance of Hutan Kota. It has quite a large area and of course safe. So you don't need to worry about your vehicle. You just need to pay 2000 rupiah for the parking fee. Extremely cheap, right? Furthermore, Hera also provided several gazebos around the path in the top of Jazz Mountain, which you can use to take a rest and relax while enjoying the cool atmosphere. There is also an audience hall, or in Indonesia we call it as Pasban, which can be used for meetings, discussion forums, or other meetings. There are also toilets that can let it recline us. This natural tourism also provides outbound facilities that can boost your adrenaline. Lompat. Ya balik lagi no. And for those of you who are Muslims, Buko also provides a musola for prayers. After getting tired of walking around at the Wuko, don't forget to taste the various food that are sold in the park around the trend in the top of Chaas Mountain.
One of special food shop here is opak sambal. And opak sambal is made from opak kali, which are fried using kareng without cooking oil and then topped with sambal pecel. Moreover, in this tourism destination, you can also enjoy the other food like yellow rice, fries, table rice, some pork, um, ice cream, coffee, and the other drinks. However, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, several food stands here are empty. But don't worry, there are still some sellers who continue to sell and of course still adhere to health protocols. Okay, one more thing that interesting in Hutan Kota Trenggale is amphitheater. This amphitheater is used to show traditional art in Trenggale area. As a visitor, surely you will ask what is the attraction of this tourism destination Hutan Kota Trenggale? I'm sure that before you come to a tourism destination, you will you finally find out about the tourist attraction you are going to. In Hutan Kota, you can find some animals, and one of the animals of Hutan Kota Trenggale is Merak Hijau or Pavo Muticus or Green Peacock. The distribution area of this green peacock species is in uh, open forest with grass lands. The species can be found in the People's Republic of China, in the China, Java, and Indonesia. And in the breeding season, the male picket will show off its beautiful tail uh, feathers in front of the female picket. If the tail feathers open, it looks like a fan with spots like eyes. So, looks very beautiful, of course. The name of this animal is Kini or Ayam Mutiara. This animal comes from Africa. And don't feed them and don't forget to read the warning. And if you observe in detail, the body of Kini has white spots like fur. Who hasn't seen deer directly? For those of you who have never seen deer directly, it means you need to go to Trungale City Forest. In Trungale City Forest, you also can see Timur deer. This animal has another name service Timur Rhinces. This type of Timur deer comes from Java. In Trungale City Forest, there are some deer. As you can see, some of the deer here are reading. In Hugo, there are also pets. Pets have another name, namely Chawachara. This animal is classified as a mammal. In Hugo, there are many doves. The presence of this dove is able to change Hugo's atmosphere. You can find these doves in the open air of Trungale City Forest. For those of you, if you want to visit the city forest, don't forget to bring corn or other food. This you can do if you want to see 
the dolls up close. Let's go to see the last animal in this hutan kota, monkey. The monkey is a momentum of Sanyo High School to Terenggala. And as you know, you can find two monkeys in here. So here I'm going to drive you about the flora and fauna diversity uh, from Hutan Kota Terenggala. And this is the one, the one of the kind of flora in Hutan Kota Terenggala. The name is Pohon Adopsi or Nam Nam Sinometra Kauri Flora. And this tree adopted by uh, Mr. Emil Elestianto Dardak as a regency of Trungalek start from 17 February 2016 until 12 February uh, 2019. And you you can know that in here there are many flowers and you can uh, enjoy the fresh, war, the, the fresh air from this location. Many advantages if you come to Hutan Kota Tunggale. Here they are. The place is so clean. Uh, there is no entrance ticket. Yeah, it is free, guys. Has strategic location from the downtown. Provide Tunggale special food, namely pecel has a lecture parking area, provide a workshop place and toilet, provide a place for a meeting in an open area, and there are many gazebo, animals, and plants. Moreover, in Hutan Kota Trenggale also provide a playground for children, so they won't feel bored. Will those are the advantages of Hutan Kota Tunggale. So, you guys, if you come to Tunggale, don't forget to visit Huko or Hutan Kota Tunggale. Here, you will feel the natural atmosphere, which is still fresh and natural. It is also a suitable place for children. Yeah, like I said before, there is a playground and there are many animals and plants, so they will be able to learn about natural delivery. For those of you who want to relax with your family, you should come here. Guys, the cost is extremely steep. You are fortunate not to lose.